What color should the Black Falcons wear? This is a question that I've been thinking about a lot recently because we have three main options available to us. And I think there's a clear winner in my mind, but I know a lot of people think differently. Let's say you grew up with Lego Castle in the 80s, then you're already super familiar with the Black Falcons and had them in the color black. You had three or so main helmets in black that were available to you at the time. I believe it was the chin strap helmet, the nasal guard helmet, and a closed tournament style helmet. And I think they really worked well on those older figures with the black arms and black legs. But I'm not so happy with them today with the pearl dark gray arms and legs that we now have. Now if you're like me, you probably got back into LEGO Castle at around 2022-2021 when the Medieval Blacksmith and the 3-in-1 Castle were coming out. Shortly after that you could buy the Black Falcon figures on Pick a Brick online and the color available was silver. So most of us that were buying figures at the time were putting them in silver armor. Which I think looked okay at the time, but I knew I wasn't super happy with how they looked. Especially now that we have the Lion Knights out and you can get them on Pick a Brick, I think there's really no reason to have your Black Falcons wear silver. They just look so much better on the Lion Knights, and if you really want to use silver for Black Falcons, I think the Red Falcons or Silver Falcons that came out of the Build a Minifigure last year probably work best for silver. That's what I have my, I think, 10 or 12 around figures. I have them all in silver armor, and I think they really work for them because they have, obviously, the silver arms and the chainmail, and I think it just it matches the best. Now, with all that being said, I think if you have a really large scale armor, me, kind of like Shy Time as My Time has, I think silver can work, mainly because you can build in so much diversity and variety into your army. It feels more realistic, and I think that's what Shy Time as My Time is going for. Pearl Dark Grey. This one is my absolute favorite. It obviously matches the figures the best because their arms match and their legs match, but I think the aesthetic just really works for a modern Black Falcon. I think the original black color really does work for the original figures, but the new modern ones I think really benefit from the titanium kind of black color. However, there's a really big problem with this color. It is expensive to get in mass. If you want to get the nasal helm off of Bricklink, I think it's over $3 to buy from a seller that has them in stock of more than 10. That's not exactly cost effective when you can get the same helmet in black off of pick a brick for just 17 cents a piece. You can get the viking helmet off of pick a brick but it's not exactly the same as a normal castle helmet and they don't look great if you don't have a beard on the figure. I'm really hoping that when we get more castle sets in the future we get more variety in the colors and molds that we get for castle sets. That way no matter what type of color helmet or type of helmet you want to use in your army everybody has something that they can find and is unique for their own armies. To end off this video, I just wanted to say, whether you're old, blind, or financially irresponsible, I think we can all agree that LEGO really should release a dedicated theme for Castle in 2024. If the popularity of the Lion Knight's Castle and Medieval Blacksmith are anything to go by, I think we have reason to stay optimistic. Thank you for watching.